Hey everybody, Charles from HumbleMechanic.com. Today, we're gonna to be going on a tour of my roll cart. All right, so you guys have been asking me to do this video for a really long time. We're gonna be going on a tour of my roll cart, going through the drawers, going through the top, the sides, the back, and checking out the things that I keep in my roll cart. Now my roll cart setup has changed a little bit since I've come off the line and moved into a shop foreman roll, but for the most part, this is how I've had this roll cart for about the past seven years. So I've had this set up for a really long time. I've sort of got everything exactly where I like it. You may notice that the way I keep some of the things in my roll cart is a little bit different, but you know, I've spent a long time working out of this roll cart. My overall goal with the roll cart is to be able to work out of it for the majority of the day. Think about what would happen if, let's say I forgot the keys to my toolbox, only had the keys to my roll cart, what would I be able to do throughout the day? All right, let's head over to the shop and check it out. So we're gonna go ahead and start at the back of my roll cart. You'll notice I have two wrench racks secured to the back or the top, depending on whether you have the roll cart open or not. This is where I keep the box wrenches. These are ratcheting wrenches from Blue Point. These down here are Snap-on Flank Drive Plus. This is a mix of Snap-on and like Northern Tool brand wrenches. I keep these on here primarily for alignments 21, 22, and 24 millimeter. A uh, magnet, my inspection mirror, a uh, paper clasp that I use to, you know, secure something. I have a back probing pin, two timing chain tensioner pins, and various assorted magnets, a couple of bungee cords to secure things like wire looms back out of my way, and a few razor blades. Now I will tell you, I love having my wrenches up here. It keeps them out of my main roll cart as well as, you know, doesn't take up that space. But be advised, if you do this, it can actually scratch up your wrenches a little bit. Uh, it doesn't really bother me. It's not that big of a deal, but if you're the type that likes to keep things nice, shiny, pretty, and polished, it's probably not something I would recommend. Let's go ahead and move down into the main work surface of my roll cart. Now, this is where I actually have the majority of the tools that I use on an everyday basis. On the left side, looking at the roll cart here, is all my ratchets, as well as two short stubby screwdrivers from Craftsman. A series of quarter inch drive semi-deep sockets here from Snap-on. This is a Craftsman 17 millimeter socket. This is what I use for taking wheels off. I do have some tape on it in order to prevent any damage to different wheels. I also have a little magnet super glued to the back of it so it stays in place. This socket here is what I use to press back the sleeves in alternators. It's also a 21 millimeter socket, which I use for strut mount bushings on Mark IVs. I have a series of 3 8 drive wobble sockets over here on this side. This is sort of my 3 8 side. This is sort of my quarter inch side. 3 8 drives, 19 millimeter to 8 millimeter sockets. These are snap-on. I've actually had these since I started working here. Back at the back here are my quarter inch drive sockets. This is a Wessling machine. Uh, socket holder that I actually did a review on. I'll put a link down in the video notes. Series of Quick Connect quarter inch T20 through T30 long bits as well as a Phillips head bit and a small punch that I used to use all the time for um, viscous couplers on like 1.8 turbo Passats, also taking off timing belts on 1.8 turbo Passats. Of course a Sharpie marker, an important part of every toolbox. Uh, here's more quarter inch drive bits. These are the short T-bits. Two Phillips head, I always have a backup because undoubtedly throughout the day I'll lose one. And then this is actually a really great quick connect slash locking quarter inch drive extension tool that I got from Snap-on. I absolutely love this thing. You'll see I have more than one. They come in a set with this as being the shortest and then some longer ones as well. These two sockets here are an eight millimeter Allen and a 14 millimeter Allen. Those are for doing DSG services. Remember, everything in this roll cart is meant to be efficient and quick and to be able for me to do the majority of the jobs that I do throughout the day without having to run back to my toolbox. Back here are my quarter inch drive T20, 25, and 30, as well as several Allen quarter inch drive sockets. Uh, I have some triple squares here, a spark plug socket, a couple of one quarter to three eighths adapters, and then a three eighths to one quarter adapter. Down in the front here is two Torx bits that I use mostly all the time. This is a T30 and a T45. And then five through 10 actually um, Allen bits. Two, you notice five and six are snap-on. The rest of them are Craftsman. I went ahead and upgraded the five and the six to a little bit better quality one than the Craftsman. And this is a 14 on one and a half thread chaser. This is what I use for chasing threads on the drain plugs 
on almost all of our cars. As they get old, the threads tend to get a little chewed up. So whenever the plug doesn't come out right away, I like to go ahead and chase the threads with it and clean them up. And if I need to, I'll go ahead and replace the drain plug as well. Over on this side, we have some more triple squares. Pretty much the whole set. This is a 3 8 drive. This is from uh, VIM, great set, very affordable. In addition to the triple squares in here, I have a couple of random torques that I don't use much, a couple of triple square bits, and these are older style wheel locks, the star kind of wheel locks. Don't use them all the time anymore, but they just fit really great in that little holder. And uh, it's one of those things that's been in there so long that I can't bear to take them out. On the right side, looking at the roll cart is where I keep my screwdrivers, as well as picks, a couple of flat heads, Phillips heads, Torx drivers, six, seven, and eight millimeter drivers. They use these for like hose clamps and whatnot. And then a really tiny Phillips head screwdriver. I also keep this magnetic tray up on the top to keep parts in as I'm working. Along here, you'll see I have a row of wobble quarter inch drive sockets, as well as quarter inch drive, a little bit longer than these, five and six millimeter Allen, five and six millimeter ball Allen, and then long three eighths drives, five and six and five and six ball Allen. In the bottom right drawer is where I keep my extensions. We have uh, snap on three eighths drive extensions still in the plastic. All these quarter inch drives are snap ons that are in the plastic. Then I have a really long Cornwell extension. I don't have too many Cornwell tools. We haven't had a Cornwell man in a long, long time. So that's one of the very few that I actually have in my box. Below that are a bunch of trim removal tools, as well as a box cutter. This is a hood prop holding tool, a tape measure, which you use surprisingly more than you would think. Series of picks, long and short, as well as the newer style wheel locks that uh, Volkswagen went to here in this box. In the bottom left drawer is far less exciting. This is a series of bolts, nuts, screws, extra stuff. Uh, chemicals, some epoxy, some tape. This is sort of a junk drawer. I got some zip ties there on the right. There's a lot going on in this drawer, a lot of extra stuff, but nothing that's vital to working every day. It's sort of, you know, when you find something on the floor, if it looks like it's worth saving, you throw it in your toolbox. Things like these uh, Audi and older Volkswagen wheel cover removers. Moving on to the first wide drawer is where I keep my pliers and oil change equipment. You see a series of pliers on this side small needle nose bent, vice grips, wire cutters and wire stripping pliers, hose clamp pliers, regular old pliers. Use these hose pliers for pulling off vacuum lines and smaller coolant hoses, some standard needle nose, and then some really long snap-on needle nose pliers, both straight, and bent. This is a tool to clamp CV axle boot clamps as well as small hose clamps. There's one there at the back which works really well for clamping the newer style with the really hard clamps to do. You use a, a 17 millimeter socket. Well, actually, I think I modified this. I did a review on it. I'll put a link in the video notes. Super great tool for doing the clamps that are really, really hard to cramp. Brake caliper tool there at the back as well. This is what I use for oil changes, an Austin Macher oil filter cup a 36 millimeter and a 32 millimeter. Well, this is a quarter inch drive, but same size. I use a 3 8 drive ratchet and extension on these, so I have the switchers there uh, in the sockets. Klein cutters, blue point hose clamp pliers, oil filter, wrench, I've had that since I started. I think I found it in a car, so uh, that was kind of a bonus score. My Makita impact gun next to it, snap-on electric ratchet, which I use a pretty good amount. I use that more than I use my air ratchet. And as well, some Crescent brand giant pliers there on the right side. And final drawer of the roll cart is sort of a drawer that I've evolved over the years. Um, now that I'm not on the, the line anymore, there's a little bit more diagnostic stuff in here than there used to be. Keep my gloves, my snap-on tech wrench, my long half-inch drive, um, snap-on ratchet, my power probe to my multimeter that I got at UTI, which I still use. I've upgraded the leads, but I still use the same meter. Heat gun, my small Makita electric wrench, and a three-pound hammer. That is from Harbor Freight. I bought it before I started working here. I still use it. It's awesome. So, you know, for all the Harbor Freight tool haters out there, um, this thing has been great for me.
On the side of the roll cart is where I have my air tools. Uh, here is my torch sticks, and then my quarter inch air ratchet, 3 8 drive air gun. This is a Mac air gun, but it's made by Ingersoll Rand. Half inch drive Ingersoll Rand impact gun, and then my air chuck, as well as my Mark IV seat spring slash wheel cap remover tool. I do have one extra spot that I keep my blow gun on, but it's not on there and I'm really not sure where it is. As far as the rest of the roll cart, down on the side here, I keep my pry bars. You can see I also have the long extensions. There's the bottom of the ratchets that uh, I keep in that side pocket. You'll notice I have a lot of bolts here on the side. That's for whatever, if I need to use one as a punch or something like that. Here's my long Cornwell pry bar. On the back of the roll cart is where I keep all my magnetic trays. This is a, a magnetic tool holder that I just sort of stuck on there and kind of left on there and never, never took it off, so I leave it on there just more because I don't know what to do with it. On the side here, those are VR6 cylinder head bolts that I keep for punches and dry, drifts and whatnot. Down on the bottom is just a myriad of crap, more or less, chemicals. Um, I'll keep my rags down there and stuff. Mostly just junk that kind of ends up at the bottom of my roll cart, ends up at the bottom of my roll cart. Again, this is a Matco roll cart. I bought it used, didn't pay hardly anything for it. It was pretty beat up when I got it. You can see some dents in the back. This has also sort of become my hostility roll cart, where uh, back in my younger days when I would throw something, it would generally be at the back of my roll cart. I don't really have any intention on upgrading anytime soon. It does all of the things that I need for it to do. All right, so there you have it, all the things that I keep in my roll cart. You know, it's probably time to cycle some of those things out, maybe clean that top left drawer junk, uh, junk drawer out, but it's just been that way for so long that I almost can't bring myself to change it. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. If you have any questions or comments, post it in the comments section below. Hey, if you like the video, please throw it a thumbs up on YouTube. I always appreciate that. You can also subscribe on YouTube or on the blog at HumbleMechanic.com. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the blog, and obviously here on YouTube. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. I have a drink of the day. It's been so long. Uh, no beer of the day, but I got this really great bottle of Russian vodka from a, the dent guy at work. So it's a uh, vodka and tonic with a little bit of cranberry juice. Um, I don't know, think about what you want. It's pretty delicious.